Hello Vino recently visited the Napa Valley and made a stop at Salinas Vintners, a collective that includes artists and winemakers such as Eric Bolin from Bolin Family Estates. Eric shared four different vintages of his Merlot from the Oak Knoll district of Napa and took us down into the barrel room where he explained his process for crafting the perfect Merlot. show you how we come to the blend we just tasted in the bottle. We have three lots of the 09 Merlot, okay? They're out of the Bextoffer vineyard. They were done in three different fermentation styles. One was done in an open top tank where we're just punching it down three times a day. And then the other two were done in closed top tanks. And we do it in three different styles to, to accent different different characteristics of the Merlot. All right, so this is the first lot we're drinking right now. This is the lot that's about 50% of our blend. This one's designed to bring the fruit forwardness to the wine. This really expresses the dark, deep, fleshy fruits and dark berries that, that our Merlot is really known for. How we accomplish this in our Merlot is this, this lot's done in a larger closed top tank. And what we're doing is about three times a day, we're gonna do a 20 to 30 minute pump over where we're taking the juice off the bottom of the tank we're pumping it through the hatch on top, and that, that juice is gonna slowly filter down through the, through the berries and the must, and, and that really helps express those, those big fruit flavors we get. All right, so this is our second lot. This is the open, this is the lot we do in our open tank fermenter. So this is a red cover that's on top, but you pull this off and the whole thing's open. So the idea here is, Three times a day, instead of doing the gentle pump over we're doing on the first and third lots, we're actually climbing up on a ladder and we punch the must down to the bottom of the tank and then over the next few hours it will slowly filter back up. So about three times a day we're climbing up, we're punching it down. When we punch that must down, it's going to tear some skins. It, it, it's it's going to kind of just squeeze those, those grapes a little more. So what we're looking for out of this lot is more extraction. We're going to get more color from the torn skins. We're going to get a little more of those sweet and fine grain tannins into the wine. And so this is what I call my structure lot. The, the open top is going to allow some of the, the aromatics to blow off because it's open. But I'm willing to sacrifice those to get the structure in the wine because they got plenty of aromatics on the first and the third lot. So this one's strictly designed to bring structure in the back end of the palate to the wine. So this is the third lot we do. And this one is done in the small closed top tank. And the design behind this lot is to trap the aromatics in the wine. And also what we found in the smaller tanks is it actually delivers a nice, nice balance to the acidity. So this lot is, is more about aromatics in, in the mid palate of the wine. And so while the first one was about the, the front palate and the fruit forwardness, the second one was about the, the tannin and the structure on the back side. This one's about completing it with the mid palate. The idea is here that it's we're going to connect the front, the mid, and the back palate. And so all three expressions of Merlot we're going to come across. And, 